Hi guys, welcome to my new video. Today we're going to be painting this lovely pumpkin that came all the way from New York. And um, this is obviously uh, Halloween time um, and it was my son's birthday so one of our very favorite cousins sent this pumpkin all the way and along with a few other decorations that I'm going to uh, probably paint later on but we're gonna start off with this and we're gonna start off with the Baker Ross acrylic gloss paint so I've got a little bit of yellow a little bit of um, orange red and a little bit of black so we're gonna go forward um, and paint um, to start off with the background I'm gonna go in with the widest brush that I have just so that I can fill in all the area that I need to quickly I'm just gonna dip my brush in a little bit of water. I just like to apply some water to my cardboard um, when I start painting and the reason is it's nice to have that wet surface. So I've painted the pumpkin. Um, I am now going to add in a few textures. So I'll, all I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of my yellow, adding a little bit of my yellow to my orange, just to make sort of like a goldish color. I'm just going to add it on the sides just to make it look a little 3D. All I'm doing is just going around the shapes with a little bit of yellow on my brush just to raise those areas slightly. As you can see, there's a little, it's a very little difference but sort of makes it look more 3D. So basically just adding another color to give it a little more detail, a little more dimension. And I can already see the difference, you know, it doesn't look too flat. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a little bit of red, really little red, and just add shadows on the sides. I'm just going to do this on the sides. So I'm now going to go in the middle with this. And notice how I'm going in a in the same similar shape to that of the pumpkin's outline. And I'm not going to go in the middle with the red. So you can already see that there's a little dimension to it. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of red, mixing it with the leftover yellow and 
um, orange that I might have to give it a little lighter red color. I'm only going to stay on this side. I'm going to start off with my brush laying in this direction so it's a smaller area. And if you feel like there's very um, sharp edges, you could always go back and blend them in. I'm also going to add a little bit of red underneath the nose, just to make it look a little shadowy. There's six brush that we're going to use for the for the outlines of the eyes, nose, and the mouth. I've just dipped my brush in a little bit of water. I'm just going to grab a little black here, as you can see. I'm not diving in there. I'm just trying to pull out some paint. Really load my brush up, the tip of my brush. And all I'm going to do is just draw the shapes around it. Honestly, guys. There's no mistake here. There is no mistake. Whatever you do is going to be right. You can't go wrong with this. Literally preschooler's job. So I'm just trying to... Sort of like applying eyeliner, you know? When you're applying eyeliner, it goes wrong and then you just keep on extending until your whole eye is black. Um, and that's what it's reminding me of. I'm not gonna worry about the shape too much. some kind of computer whoops and this happens too I'm gonna show you how to remove this in a bit so I'm just gonna grab my life-saving cloth and literally just lift that paint up I'm gonna have to go over with the orange again um, but that's okay just slight and then if you're not happy where your paint is just try and blend it in with the cloth just like that there you go. To make a top part, I'm just gonna draw a random shape of what I think. Um, a pumpkin looks like from the top. I'm then just gonna go in with the same brush. I'm gonna get some green, ideally soft green, and I know I'm totally against this technique, but sometimes I do do that. And all I'm gonna do is just spread this out. And that's fine, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna leave it at that at the minute. I hope you enjoyed our 
pumpkin painting video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and um, we shall see you later on with another video.